In this video, we will explain the Bragg condition, which describes how waves can scatter at a lattice. The Bragg condition is actually a special case of the Laue condition, which we discuss in a different video. We assume that our crystal can be described by parallel planes of atoms. This is not a really good approximation for X-ray scattering, since the wavelengths of X-rays are in the same order of magnitude as the distance between atoms in the lattice. Therefore, any bumps or unevenness in the crystal planes should play a role in X-ray scattering. However, as it turns out, the Bragg condition is still a very good description of X-ray scattering. Let us draw the incoming X-rays under an angle of theta. For simplicity, we assume them to be monochromatic, that is, they have one sharp frequency or wavelength. Outgoing waves will exit the crystal again under the same angle theta. And the condition for constructive interference between the outgoing waves of two layers is that they have the same phase. In other words, the path that the lower wave traveled more than the upper wave, here drawn in red, has to be an integer multiple of the wavelength lambda. So what exactly is this additional path length? Well, if we call the distance between crystal layers d, then we can draw a right angled triangle here, which means that this additional path length is given by 2 times d times the sine of theta. Therefore, the condition for constructive interference for scattering on a lattice is n times lambda being equal to 2 times d times the sine of theta. Since we know the wavelength of the light that we're using, we can change the angle of incident until we measure constructive interference. Then, by using lambda and theta, we get information about the lattice distance d. Note that since n can be any integer, this equation does not pose a restriction on how small lambda can be. However, it does pose a restriction on how large the wavelength can be. For a given d and theta, we get the largest lambda for n equals 1. And since the sine function can only take on values between 1 and minus 1, the largest possible value for lambda is 2d. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.